Hello, this is Ben Masonheimer with Silver Seas Yachts, and today I'm aboard a boat that I'm really excited to show you. It's a 2005 Cruisers Yachts 400 420 Express. The reason why I'm so excited about this boat is because of its condition. This boat, for its age and its price range, are about as good as you're going to find out there. Come on, let's go check it out. All right, here she is. This is a Cruisers Yachts 400 420 Express. They call it a 400 slash 420 because in 2005 they called it a 400 but in 06 and to the end of its production they put a number on the side that was closer to what it actually was which is 43 feet long so we're just going to refer to it as a 420. Here at the bow we have a windless anchor it has foot controls all of the bright work looks great you can see your windless anchor in there you also have uh, areas in there for two fenders. The boat has a black gel coated side hull to it that looks to be in good shape. We have paddleboard racks here. Here at our transom we have a very generous swim platform. They have sea deck or gator step here. It looks to be older. It's kind of wearing out right here. The good news is here in Costa Mesa is where the dealership or factory for gator step is so that should not be too hard to fix. Under here we have a dive ladder. Under here we have a big storage. Think of it as a large ice chest that's draining. It's set up with weaver davits. Over here we have our shore power cord. Uh, it uses two 30 amp cords. We have a lazarette just behind here. Hot and cold water shower. And look at this nice carpet. This boat really is fabulous for its year. All of the upholstery has been redone with very high quality materials. You can see that here. We're not shooting against the sun. Here's our wet bar area. We have a little sink, bottle storage, refrigerator in immaculate condition. We have a 110 outlet. Moving forward to our helm, we have a new Raymarine Axiom screen. It has uh, a Raymarine Doppler Quantum Radar. Autopilot's here. Raymarine VHF. Volvo gauges. And just look how clean everything is. Digital throttles. Here's your joystick. So that's used for docking. Now, a unique thing about this boat is that we have a center walkthrough windshield. Instead of going down the sides of the boat, you come up through the center. What that allows uh, cruisers to do is make a boat that's much larger inside. You'll see that when we get downstairs. The boat also has a fusion stereo. Many, many updates. Lots of speakers. All the gel coats in very good condition. I mean, seriously. If you just stepped on board and no one told you the year of this boat, you would think it was a lot newer than it actually is. All new speakers throughout. Storage under all of these seats here. We have storage here. They have light switches there. Now this whole seat here can swing so when you're underway you can just turn this. Let me show you how that works. To turn the helm companion seat there's a pin behind it that you pull out. You push it around and you line up this rod here and then you just pin it in place. One thing I've always liked about this particular model of cruisers is this massive hardtop. It gives you plenty of protection from the sun and also great attachment points for your Isinglass. This particular boat had new Isinglass in 2021. It has the roll-up style here in the back and the hard strata glass in the front. As we head on down, we have a very wide doorway. I like how the top portion pushes back. This is great for tall people. And we step on down into a very inviting cabin. Look how nice this is. We have a very large galley. Aft of that, we have a massive seating area that converts to a queen berth. This section comes out. The table can fold up or remove. We have storage all the way around, all the way above this galley. Down below, we have a microwave. And this countertop here, for reference, is about four feet in width. Double sinks. Look how clean this thing is. Very nice. More storage up above. Now this is an open concept boat. So the, when you have a bed back here, there is a curtain that encloses it. And the same 
in the front. But really, I hope the video can show you the condition. Just look how nice everything is. Here's kind of our wet bar entertaining area. It has updated television. We have a built-in vacuum cleaner here, more storage, bottle storage, a wine fridge, storage above. Here's your panel. I like how the boat has opening windows on either side. And plenty of natural light coming in. Lots of ports here. All right, let's check out the head. Here's our head. Again, generous headroom. We have a medicine cabinet above. Sink with storage below. Vacuum flush head. And then a very large shower stall. Here we have a windshield cover that goes over the uh, windshield when the boat is in storage. You also have an entrance going forward out of the head. Here would be consider our master bed or bedroom or stateroom, however you'd like to say it, since it's an open concept. We have storage below. This is a custom mattress, very comfortable. We have matching hanging lockers on either side, so they're absolutely identical. We'll go ahead and check out the port side. It's all cedar lined, and like I was saying, you have the same across the way. Here we have a television, air conditioner controls, light switches, and then you have storage all the way around. And as you can see, a very nice port light. So again, I hope the camera does this justice, but if you're looking for a boat in that low 200 price range, you're going to be hard pressed to find a cleaner one than this. Okay, so I'm now down in the engine room. You can see just how beautiful all the wiring is. And for someone who's new to boating, these are great boats because every last thing in the boat is labeled, including the wires themselves. We have oil chain system here. Here's our Volvo IPS 500 engine. The pod drives on this boat were replaced with factory remanufactured pods in 2019. So everything you see here and then the parts under the water are all new as of 2019, or should I say uh, factory refurbished. Water heater. Generator. Here's your other pod. And here's your other engine. Now this owner, they're selling it because they're not using it much. Um, since it was last serviced, they've only put 19 hours on it. It is going to need to be serviced just based on time for whoever purchases it. But look at this thing. It's in just excellent condition. This is going to conclude our tour of this absolutely beautiful Cruisers Yachts 400 420 Express. I hope you enjoyed the tour. If you have questions about this boat or you'd like to see it, you can call me at this number here or you can email me at this address right here. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you on the water.